is quite special to me in this video I'm going to tell you guys everything that I did to basically get my skin from looking like this to get into flawless Amy um, earlier this year you guys I went back home and when I came back okay if you don't know I'm, I'm from Gambia West Africa I came back from Gambia and my skin just went crazy you guys okay I was breaking out my, like it was just crazy I was so sad and so depressed and I was like now I get it when people say that acne can literally depress you I get it like my confidence was literally crushed you guys okay um, but thanks to research and thanks to these products that helped me regain my confidence and getting back to my flawless self well today I came to share with you guys everything that I've done and everything that I've used and some of the key Key products that has really helped with my skin and how to use them so if you actually suffered from acne before let us know in the comment section what are some of the products that have helped you or if you've tried any of these products and how did they work out for you well if you're not subscribed to my channel this is your chance go ahead and hit the subscribe button and if you're new here also my name is Amy and over here I talk about beauty fashion lifestyle DIY makeovers and pretty much soft girl living okay and without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into this video because I'm sure you guys cannot wait to see everything I got going for you guys so let's go ahead and start up with cleansers okay uh, and before I even start up with the whole cleansers let me just tell you guys a little a little backstory so you can kind of get the gist uh, with cleansers I was using something totally different because at first I thought I had fungal acne so then I started using this, which is a Nizoral, okay? If you've never heard of this, never seen this, this is an anti dandruff shampoo, which is an antifungal product. So what I did was I'll use this on my face, apply it as a mask, okay? Leave it on for 10 minutes and then wash off and then go ahead and proceed to my skincare. Now, if you have fungal acne, if the, you suspect that you have fungal acne, this is going to be hands down one of the best products that you would use and you just buy this from Walmart and it was hella, like it was not expensive, it was like $10 probably, okay? And you just you use a little bit. I still have a lot left here, but I don't use this anymore. I used this in the beginning of my process when I thought I had fungal acne, which I actually still believe I did have fungal acne, but then my skin also probably just kind of like went through circles, okay? But do not use this every single day. You wanna use this every other night and do not use it in the daytime. You wanna use it at night time and you wanna just leave it on as a mask, wash your face off after 10 minutes. You can try this. A lot of people, this has helped them, but if this doesn't help, listen, we're gonna get into some deeper products that, you, that might also help you. Now, if you have antifungal products, there's a lot of moisturizers, there's a lot of um, cleansers you can't use. Let's just go ahead and crush those down so, I could just, so we could just go ahead and dive, dive into more of that, like the acne, acne part. Fungal acne is still acne, trust me, because when you look at my face, that's what I, I think I had at first. Just, just stay, bear with me. We'll, you will get the gist, okay? I don't want to like bootleg you and just give you guys like a half-ass video. I want to give you guys everything that has worked for me. And I hope you appreciate that. So, a cleanser that I used when I had the fungal acne was this, okay? It's the CeraVe cleanser. They have a ton of cleansers, but this is the one you need. This is the one with the um, ceramides and salicylic acid. This one helps if you have fungal acne. This one right here would be your daily cleanser morning and night if you suspect that you have fungal acne. Fungal acne is not acne, that's like cystic acne. It's like bumps all over, mostly on your forehead and it will just like lay inside the skin. When it comes to moisturizers, um, this is what I use, which is a touch of water cream because this is also, um, this is also for fungal acne. It's safe for fungal acne. That's what I would say, rather. The only time I will make, wear makeup is if I didn't have a choice, okay? But if you have a choice, please do not wear any makeup on your face. And if you're wearing makeup, and I still actually to this day don't wear any other foundations except these two foundations, okay? Which is the Dior Backstage and the um, and the Bounce from Beauty Blender. They have changed its packaging, but it's still the same exact foundation, so you can still use it. Um, so I was told, but to this day i still don't trust using anything else but these two foundations today i'm actually wearing this if you are interested in knowing what i have on today now let's move on to what i currently i'm doing with my skin and what has been pretty much saved my skin okay if you have fungal acne that was for you now if you think that didn't help because that was me and you need to go further this is for you so when I'm wearing makeup, 
I make sure I take all my makeup off, okay? And I use this Tatcher oil, cleanse, cleansing oil, okay? Excuse my hand had makeup, so it's like dirty. But I use this Tatcher cleansing oil to basically break all the makeup down on my face. I break everything down, so I double cleanse, okay? Oh, always. I am not a fan of uh, wipes. I stopped using wipes because it's, it was just not working for me. So that's number one step. Number two step would be using this bad boy right here, which is my off on cleanser. And I freaking love this cleanser. If you have sensitive skin, this is great for you because this is actually fragrance free. Um, it is part of their clean line. It has um, water lily, which is very, very gentle and pretty much can fight everything um, on your skin. So it will take off pollution, it will take off dirt, it will take off makeup, it, everything, okay? Because you need to make sure your skin is very well cleansed. So I use this cleanser every single day, morning, and night okay I take this and I wash my face with it I make sure I massage it for at least a minute um, if you don't mind splurging this is actually not super expensive you guys and there's a ton of product like I've been using this for a while and I feel like it's still full this right here is $47 I will list everything down in the description bar I'll give you guys all the info that you need so don't worry I'm not gonna gatekeep absolutely a thing because I want all of us to be flawless together now if you think that's a bit much for you you and you want to have like a little substitute it's good but trust me when you try this you know that it's not as in my opinion I don't think the other one is as good as this but I'll let you decide okay and that is going to be the CeraVe cleanser I still have a lot of this left because I stopped using it and I just use my off on cleanser uh, this is an all control cleanser it removes it um, it cleanses and removes oil without disrupting the skin. It has niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, all that good stuff, okay? This is a great cleanser. A lot of people love this, use this, and I like it. I love my Dior. That's, that's just the fact, okay? But if you can't afford the Dior and you just want to like kind of, you know, you're on a budget, this will do. You can work with this for now. I don't even use towels on my skin because they collect so much bacteria. I just use a paper towel to dry my skin, something that I can basically use and throw it away and I don't have to worry about using it anymore because towels and all that stuff, the detergents that you're using to wash the towels and all that good stuff, I don't trust anything anymore. This is a product that you can't buy over the counter. I know there's like a ton of websites that's like selling it now, trust me, I don't trust it. And for obvious reasons because I'm just paranoid like that, okay? If you trust it, fine. I just don't trust buying any sort of prescribed medication from like, you know, like a site that, I don't, I don't know. I've seen so many commercials on it, but to each his own. If you want me to hook you up with my doctor, I would, and I will leave all their, uh, their information in the description bar. If you don't have insurance, don't worry. They still can do like a cash consultation. They do, um, they do, what's it called? They do virtual consultations too. Um, and they'll get your skin all the way together. I'll leave their phone number. Go ahead and call them, do a virtual consultation, get your prescription and get it going because child and nobody get time to be getting trick knowing where you can get trick knowing. Okay. So this is the product, which is Tretinoin, and I'm using currently, I'm using the 0.05%. Um, I actually started with the 0.025%, which is like the lower percentage, okay? Whew. Now, let's get deep, because this right here is the bad boy. This is the baby, this is the reason why this video is happening today. Um, Tretinoin is going to be a retinoid. When you start Tretinoin, if you're new to it, don't use this every single day. You want to use tretinoin every other day or at least start with two times a week three times a week before you jump into using it every day tretinoin can only be used at night okay i'm sure the doctor or whoever is going to prescribe you with this will give you all the information but i want to give you some information that you don't even get sometimes from the doctor, which I have learned along the way. I started with the 0.025%. So once I finished that one, I wanted to upgrade because I felt like my skin just needed something like a little bit more. So I requested to be upgraded to, to a 0.05%. Now there's also a 0.01%, 
but if 0.1%, don't start with the highest percentage. Start low, 0.025 us and if you want to upgrade, you can ask the doctor if they let you upgrade, and you can. Um, there's two forms, there's a cream and there's a gel. I just only use the cream. I started with the lower percentage, like I said. I used it every other night, and you only need a pea size of it. Do not OD on tretinoin. It doesn't matter how much more you put, it's not going to heal faster. Tretinoin takes time before it works and you have to be patient. Baby, let me tell you, you gotta be patient. I was literally losing my mind because I was like, my skin is breaking out even more. This is not working. What the hell is going on? I'm tired. I'm, I'm sick of it. Like what's happening? But the more I researched, it just said, just keep going, honey. You, you will get there. You will get there. And eventually I started seeing that my skin started getting better. Okay. So I went from three, um, every other day for a week. And then I upgraded to every single day and mwah, chef's kiss. Okay. Once I started using it every day, my skin started breaking out. I started flaking cause I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Okay. And then until I come around and find out that you can actually sandwich your tretinoin, which means you can basically use a moisturizer, let it dry, and then put tretinoin on top and then go back again and moisturize, okay? But I don't anymore do that form of sandwich method. I still sandwich, but I sandwich with something totally different because now my skin has adapted to tretinoin. Um, it, it's, it's getting, it has gotten used to it. Now I changed my sandwich method, okay? But let's just keep diving a little bit more and I'll show you guys how I sandwich my tretinoin now. What does it do for you? Tretinoin is going to help with acne, it's gonna help with textured skin, it's going to help with uneven skin, and it's going to help with fine lines and wrinkles. So this was actually initially made for anti-aging and then they realized that it actually works for acne skin. Let me tell you that my skin has my skin literally looks like glass, okay? When I wash my face now in the morning, my my skin just gets super tight and it just looks like shiny and like glass looking. Do not use tretinoin around the corners of your nose right here because it's gonna flake really bad. In the corners of your mouth, it's gonna flake really bad or around your eye area. You don't wanna use it, it like around the eye area. Once in a while, I use it on my neck just so that, you know, I get tight on the neck, child. Dot it all over the face and must walk it in, okay? Make sure you put it on dry skin. It's gonna take time. I feel like mine take, took way more than three months before I even saw like the difference, okay? But now what I used to sandwich my tretinoin, and I just started this now recently, um, is this Dior um, Prestige La Lotion. This bad boy is not cheap, baby, but when I tell you, she would get your skin all the way together. She will give you super nice, glowy skin. Um, she will hydrate your skin, anti-age, and all that good stuff. So I put this on first, and I let it dry. I let it dry all the way, and I go ahead and apply my tretinoin on top of it. And again, with tretinoin, you only need a little bit. You only need a pea size. Take it and just distribute the whole face and then walk it in. So I let that sit for like five minutes or less and then I go ahead and put my skincare on top of it, okay? Now, you only use tretinoin at night. If I didn't say this, I wanna repeat it. You only use tretinoin at night. Do not use tretinoin in the morning. So I made a mistake and I'll tell you what the mistake was. Guys, I was using AHAs and BHAs in the morning. Don't do it, okay? It will fuck your skin up. Um, when you're using tretinoin, tretinoin already has like exfoli it exfoliates the skin, it does all of that, so you don't need to use any sort of BHAs, AHAs, and all that good stuff. But this is a great toner. This is amazing. Okay, but right now that I'm on tretinoin, that's on pause. If I stop using tretinoin, I'll definitely get to it. I'll definitely use it, and yeah. But if you're on tretinoin, don't be using your AHAs, BHA, like all that extra stuff you do not need on your skin because it's just too much, okay? Less is more. You don't need too much when you're on tretinoin. 
it's going to do the job for you. I promise you. If you're someone who is actually getting all the flakiness a lot, I'll show you guys a product that literally saved my life when I was flaking that much, okay? This was not enough anymore when I was flaking and I realized that I had to up my moisturizer game a little bit and I needed something a little bit more calming for the skin. And then, honest to God, I was very skeptical about using this product. And then one day I was like, you know what, it doesn't hurt, I'll just try it. And literally, within two days, my skin was like back to normal. Like I had no flakiness on my skin. This bad boy is 60 bucks, okay? Um, again, it's not super cheap, but you don't use it all the time. I use this when my skin starts flaking, getting dry. It has chamomile and it has Sika, which is both great products. It's an all natural product and it's also from Dior and you guys know I love Dior's or whatever. So this is the moisturizer, okay? Um, this is, you can use this for on your face and on your body also. Um, but I use this on my face and what I did was I would use this first and then I put my Tretinoin in and then I go back and put this on top. I made I make sure that the, the repair balm, like the secret repair balm, this one was my base. This is the first one I applied to make sure that my skin was nicely moisturized and calm. And then I applied my tretinoin, okay? And then I went ahead and put on my Tasha water cream on top. So I went from here, here, and here. And that's how I was able to stop the flaking because I was scared, I was like, I look like a freaking, uh, what's it called? An alligator. My skin pretty much looked like an alligator skin. And I've never pretty much had dry skin at all, but my skin was hella dry, like flaking. So those were the products that helped me out a lot, okay? Now, what's my morning routine? Super simple, basic as hell. I make sure I use this as my cleanser. Cleanse my skin nicely. If you don't have that one and you have this one, it's also going to work fine. But just make sure you are using a gentle cleanser in the morning. And this is this one definitely is my favorite, and this is going to be my second favorite. And then I use her. Okay, she does not leave because when I put her on my skin, everything just hydrates, everything looks nice, everything looks glowy, everything looks radiant, and goodbye flaky because I'm not, okay? Um, so, after I put that on, then I go ahead and just use my water cream because during the day, I don't want my skin to be dripping down in oil, so I just use the water cream, which is super, super nice. Love, absolutely love it. And then, okay, if I use an eye cream, I just use my eye cream, but that's not the purpose of the video. You don't care, I know. This right here is a must. I don't care what you do. I don't care what nobody tells you. You, if you use straight with honey, and you are not putting sunscreen, honey, you're just killing yourself. You just put on, you just about to die, okay? Uh, not die, but you get it, okay? Um, I use the Polar's Choice sunscreen, and when this is also good for someone who has fungal acne. Do you guys see how I am still treating my skin using fungal acne friendly products, but also? products that would also work for my skin. Does it make sense? So I'm treating my skin for both, okay? I'm using fungal acne products. The only thing I'm not using anymore is this, but I make sure that the, the nice roll, but I make sure that everything else I use is fungal acne safe because I don't trust it. I feel like my skin was weird, okay? I need products that are safe for everything that looks like it or it's it, I don't know, okay? It's hard. So I use this sunscreen, which is the Polar's Choice um, youth extending daily hydrating fluid so this is actually very moisturizing and that's why I just use my Tatcha water cream because it's a lightweight moisturizer it's not going to drip my skin and then I follow up with this bad boy right here you can actually just use this one by itself if you want to but I just like a nice glowy skin because you know use Kretno when you skip Kretno when your skin is like a lot drier so this works perfectly and it doesn't leave a cast on my skin and it's an SPF 50 child don't use no SPF 15 or 20 get the highest SPF that you possibly can and use it because listen your skin is gonna be super sensitive to the Sun and you want to make sure that like 
your tretinoin is working okay so look at this like this doesn't leave any cast on my skin which is why i love it so much because there is so many sunscreens in the market that i probably cannot use because they will leave a cast on my face and two i'm not sure if they fungal acne safe so i just make sure i use this one um and i absolutely absolutely love it i am not a dermatologist again but i am telling you what has worked for my skin and what i did to make sure that my skin is nice and clear you gotta be patient you gotta be consistent patience and consistency is the key words when it comes to these products you have to make sure that you're patient you have to make sure that you're consistent don't give up keep going it's gonna look rough i promise you you're gonna purge so bad when you start using that tretinoin girl you're gonna purge so bad you're gonna hate yourself but best believe it's going to work once you pass that stage honey it's going to work now things that you have to pay attention to if you're breastfeeding and if you are pregnant you cannot use tretinoin and i think a lot of people probably just don't do the research they just like tired of it so they just want to keep doing it but if you're breastfeeding or if you are actually pregnant you cannot use tretinoin when i was transferring to the 05 percent which i was trying to find information on the internet and i never saw anyone who was who actually talked about that so i want to tell you guys what i did was I would use the o, o two. I'll use the point two five o two five percent today. The next day, I'll use the o five percent. So I kind of slowly incorporated into my um, into my routine. So I was I was kind of like um, alternating it. Okay. So one day I'll use the o point two five. Then the next day I'll use the o five or like you know the o five. Okay. So I was alternating it for like a week until my skin can kind of adjusted a little bit then i just went straight and started using this every day i am still using this every single day i still want my skin to be perfect and once my skin gets to where i want it then i can kind of drop down again to every other day you see how that goes so i go down to every other day and then go down to probably twice a week but for right now i am still on the 0.05 percent every single day would i go to the 0 .0, um, 0 0.1 i don't know if i'm gonna ever try the one percent if i need to i would but for right now i think this is doing a good job for me and this is where i'm staying and i think that's it you guys and if there's anything that i am missing make sure you leave your comments down in the comment section below okay i'll be more than happy to answer all your questions and let's just go ahead and you know comment let me know if you've tried any of these products what have worked what has worked for you how were you able to get rid of your acne are you still current are you currently suffering from acne and if you still are i will leave my doctor's information right in the description bar and they'll be able to take care of you and help you out and have that consultation done with you but please i don't trust buying threat knowing anywhere else okay and that's just that's just what I have to say, okay? I'm sure a lot of people don't have insurance. Not everybody is like lucky to have insurance, but if you don't, you can still work with them, I'm sure. I am so excited to hear you guys' stories and hear your journeys and see you guys excel so we can all be flawless together. Cause listen, this was not fun at all. Going through that acne was just very, very traumatizing and very, very like depressing i hate using the word but i just have to because it was truly depressing okay and again i just want to say thank you all so much for watching i hope this video was helpful and if you guys enjoyed please don't forget to leave it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe to my channel and again i just want to say thank you all so much for watching and i can't wait to see you all next week okay i love y'all